Hi, I'm Iris Sherman, co-founder of Kitchology. In my family, we have food allergies, so when we make a meal, it's complicated. Kitchology is here to help you. We aim to take the complication out of cooking by helping you with planning, with your purchases, with your cooking, and with your sharing. So let's begin. I have water boiling and I'm going to add a box of gluten-free pasta. So gluten-free pasta can be slightly um, sticky so you want to mix it on occasion. While the pasta is cooking we're going to start the sauces. So there are three pieces to this part. We have sour cream. I'm using fat-free sour cream. We need some cream cheese, and I'm actually going to use some chive and onion to go along with our onion, macaroni and cheese, and one egg. So we're going to use a half a cup of sour cream, and this is eight ounces in here already, so I'm just going to take half of what's in here. Then I'm going to use two tablespoons of the sour cream. I'm going to put the egg in there. I'm going to mix that up. Nice and smooth consistency. The pasta is now done. And I'm going to take it out and I'm going to drain it. So after you drain the pasta, give it a little shake so it's all separated. Now we're gonna add the, the sour cream, cream cheese egg mixture to the pasta. So after we've added that cream cheese, sour cream egg mixture, we're now going to add the cheeses to the pasta. And we're using two different kinds today. We're using a double cheddar and cheddar jack. And we need a total of, for this recipe, four cups. But for this part, we only need three cups because we're going to reserve one cup for the top mixture. I've actually combined it all in a bowl, the two different kinds already, and now I'm going to add them to the pasta. I'm going to mix it really well. Some of the original recipes that we looked at to make this one of our golden recipes had, you could add chicken, you could add bacon, you could add different kinds of meats, you could add shrimp, you could add lobster. We're not going to add any meat to this today, but um, it would be a very nice addition to make it a full dish. So now that we've added the cheeses, we're going to prepare the final sauce for the macaroni and cheese. It's actually going to be sauteed onions and garlic with butter and we're going to kind of make a little bit of a thick sauce by adding some gluten-free flour mixture. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil, probably no more than a tablespoon. Get that heated up. Okay, so I'm going to add the onions. This is a 
large onion that has been chopped. We're going to cook that on medium high for a good couple of minutes till it gets nice and started to get um, yellowed. Starting to yellow a little bit, so now it's, it's ready for our garlic. So I like to make things easy, so I use the packaged, the already minced garlic. And in this, you add two teaspoons. It's equivalent to four cloves, which is what the recipe is calling for. I'm going to saute that so everything starts to turn brown. And now I'm going to lower this so that I can make the sauce that goes with the onions. Now we're going to remove the onions for a bit so we can make the butter sauce, thickened butter sauce. So now we're going to take two tablespoons of butter, and I'm using some light butter, canola oil type. Let's get that. Melted. Then we're going to add five tablespoons of a gluten free type of flour. I'm using actually an all purpose baking mix here. And I'm going to start whisking that in. I'm going to lower this to low. I'm actually going to start adding the milk very slowly and mixing, consistently mixing. So I'm, I'm adding two cups of milk here to make a nice thick sauce. I'm even going to start adding in the onions while we wait. this on low while I get the rest of the pasta together for the final steps. For the final topping, we have to prepare that before we mix everything together, is we have a cup of cheese. So I've got the cup of cheese using a bigger bowl and we need a half a cup of panko type of crumbs. Now, I'm trying to make this whole dish gluten-free, so I'm using Italian panko gluten-free crumbs, and I'm going to do about a half a cup. And now, I'm going to just mix that up really well. Okay. Now we're going to get the pan ready. So I'm going to spray it with some PM to make sure it doesn't stick. Transfer the pasta in. Perfect. Now I'm going to add the thickened sauce that's going to permeate into the pasta. We're going to put our final cheese on top. So now this is going to go in the oven for 30 minutes. So this is all done now. So I'm going to turn off the time. The timer came turned off and turn off the oven. and take it out.
Wow. Doesn't that look amazing? So now we're going to take a little of this and see how it tastes. This looks unbelievable. Mmm, that is marvelous. This is all for this session of Cooking with Kitchology. Please join us next time for some more tasty meals.